Okay, good morning, Jeff Myers here for Business 110 Summer 2021. Hope everybody's excited. I really want you to watch this video in its entirety so it'll answer a lot of questions. And so uh, please just take the time to watch it. Um, and uh, it won't be that bad, I promise. Anyways, I'm gonna put it in a discussion post as well or you'll have to comment on it and uh, answer a couple questions to ensure everybody's watching it, but it's important. So welcome to 2021. I know it's been a tough fall and spring semester with COVID, uh, but things are opening up and um, things are getting back to normal, which is exciting. So anyway, I've been teaching at Wake Tech for 10 years. Um, I teach at William Peace, I teach at Wesleyan, I taught at Campbell. I teach in Austria every summer for Wake Tech in Salzburg. So I do a lot of classes. I've been doing it a while, but my, my experience prior to teaching is in sales management within the telecommunications industry. So a lot of management experience, a lot of sales experience, customer service. Um, so, you know, I add a lot of that in the course with videos and things that I think will help you prepare for the real world. And this is a intro to business course, a real world course. So I know you'll get a lot out of it. Um, anyway, uh, the first thing that I want you to do today after this video is take that course entry quiz, CEQ. There's a tab. Does not count for any grades. So even if you get a 10%, you're fine. What it does is it tracks your attendance and the college then secures your place in this course. Every semester, every class, there's always one or two that doesn't do it. And unfortunately, they get dropped and there's nothing the instructor can do to put you back in. Um, by the way, my, I go by Jeff, not Mr. Myers, not Associate Professor Myers. Just call me Jeff if you call me on Teams or if you know, on email or on the phone, Jeff is fine. Just want to get that in there. Uh, after you take the course entry quiz, I want you to go to the Getting Started tab. Under the Getting Started tab, you're gonna see information like the syllabus, uh, the rubrics for the discussion post in your lessons, as well as the term paper and the rubric about the term paper. So I just want you to glance through that, read through it. But when you get to the Expectations tab under Getting Started, I want you to really read through those because those are really important, especially the part of not doing the homework weekly. Um, everybody that doesn't do homework, uh, you know, you, you risk getting dropped from the course. It's a major requirement of this course. I don't think I give too much homework in any ways. I think it's a fair amount. So my expectations are that you submit the lessons and the discussion post that are required. Uh, my expectations are that the term paper that's due on the 4th of July is done on time. My expectations are that you read through the material in the chapters. My expectations are that you write your own answers on the discussion post and not copy and paste. Uh, my expectations are that if you have a question that you call me um, or go through Teams I do like emails, but um, you know I don't get back as quickly as I do with a phone call. So don't be shy to call me and let's talk through a concern or a question, or you may have some extra uh, need for help on a topic. You wanna learn a little bit more, let's talk. Um, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. So read through the expectations, read through that term paper. Uh, it's five pages, it's due on the 4th of July. And um, I, I just want to make sure early on, like this week, that if you have any questions that we at least tackle them quickly. Uh, I'll actually be traveling out of the country on Monday to Ecuador. I'll be available, uh, but it's not as easy as uh, this first week. That's why it's really important that you take that course entry quiz like today, first thing. Uh, we'll have two tests, a uh, midterm and a final. They're both... Um, True, false, multiple choice. Uh, they come from the book. Um, you know, it's it's real simple. Read that you have the book, it's open book, but it's timed. So you wanna make sure that you know where the materials are in case you need to reference the book 
to answer those questions. So that'll be uh, coming up, I think, on week five, and then obviously the final long way down the road. But just like fall and spring courses, summer courses fly by as well. Um, we're going to tackle, so let me talk quickly about lessons. You'll see lesson tab. Those are questions that are due every Sunday night and the day. Clearly mark the due date. You'll answer, you'll click on it. You'll answer the questions. You'll hit submit. I got it. It'll be graded. You're done. The collaboration tab are those discussion post tabs that you'll answer the question. You'll write out your material. You'll submit it. You do not have to answer or respond to any other classmates. So it's just one answer, but if you choose to respond and hold a dialogue and, you know, answer someone else's questions or comment, keep it very respectful, but that's your choice, okay? Um, every once in a while, to make this course a little more lively, because online is just online, I'm going to offer online optional live classes via Teams, and Teams is something that you need to download to your phone or laptop or tablet. Uh, you click on it, you'll see the calendar date, click, put in your email, password, boom. You'll be live with me on class. Our first one will be Wednesday night, tonight. Uh, and for this class, we have it at 7 p.m. And it's just a chance to meet me, a chance to answer, que answer questions. I'll go over this again, a little more detail but it really just kind of puts a face with this online class. So uh, they've been very popular in the past. Um, it's optional, just like other ones that I come up with in terms of topics, maybe on sales, maybe on culture, uh, how to get a job via virtual interviewing or interviewing face-to-face. -face. You should, if you have the time to you know, join. I'll record most of them, if not all of them, but it's good to have students live on the courses. Um, let's see. The really important thing with the book, and the book is Intro to Business. Uh, this is the printed copy. It's a pretty big, lengthy book. You can buy it. I suggest you get it, the printed copy, because it's a lot easier to read than reading online. For those that don't get it and just have that link, uh, the OER version, that's free, um, it's like reading note cards. It's very hard to read through and it's hard to use when you need to take tests. So I really recommend that you buy the printed version. They're very cheap. Um, if you have any questions, get me tomorrow night, send me an email, call me, uh, but you know, really get the printed version. And um, you know, we're gonna use that Waymaker access code every once in a while, especially for those that want a little extra credit. But really all you need is the book and you'll be able to answer the questions from lessons, the discussion post, and take the test without the Waymaker code. But I still say get the code. I don't know the cost. It's not that expensive. It's good for support as well as I will be offering some extra credit. Not as mu not not so much that it's going to bump your grade to another grade, but it will help a little bit for those that are interested. Um, anyway, you can get a hold of me in my office number, which forwards to my cell phone, because I will not be in the office that much this summer. I'm doing a lot of trips uh, to Ecuador and over to Armenia and Georgia and Belarus and. So I'm gonna be doing some solo trips. Um, the other thing that I do is I coordinate our travel and study abroad program. We have trips coming up uh, in 2022 to Australia, New Zealand, Egypt, Peru, uh, Salzburg, Austria, where you can take a business management class or an accounting class and get credit. Looks great on a resume. Uh, you'll get some of that information on Blackboard. I have a podcast on the Blackboard that you can hear students who have gone abroad with me. Um, but if you want to get a hold of me, Teams, uh, my phone number of the office is 919-532-5629. My cell is 919-795-9264. And my email, jrmyers, J-R-M-Y-E-R-S, at waketech.edu. Um, I try to get back to everybody the same day, maybe within a couple hours. 
Uh, but if it's a day or two after, I'm typically traveling. So you'll just have to be a little patient. So hopefully, if you got a little time tonight at 7, jump on Teams real quick. Let's say hi. Think of some questions. Take the CEQ test. And I will be putting out videos uh, that um, help you with the course, videos that help you with the content, uh, real-world skill lessons that I know you'll get a lot out of, and uh, look forward to uh, working with everybody this summer. So take care and welcome to the 2021 summer course.